Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on the GATE 2017. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve these questions which are related to the linear algebra and was asked in the GATE 2017 mathematics. Let's quickly see what are these four questions are there. So the first question is related to the vector space and the linear functionals are there. Question number six is again of the one marks is a but there is no negative marking which is related to the line integral. Question number 16 is related to some quadrature rules that is here and the question number 18 is related to this partial differential equations and their classification. How you can solve these four questions you can see this is of the one marks this is again one marks this is again one and this is again one so you can get a four marks in a very simple manner. Now let's see question number one is there this is a vector space of the polynomial of degree at the most two that's a very simple are there what you can do is you have to what is your target is your target is to whatever you want to find you can write here your target is to express this in terms of the others polynomials that is of here b 1 minus x square plus c of x square minus of x now you can equate the coefficient that's a very simple how you can equate the coefficient on both sides that's a constant part what is that this is 1 a plus b coefficient of the x is 1 this is a minus of c if you equate the coefficient of the x square this is the coefficient of the x square this is my coefficient of the x so x square is a 0 is nothing but my minus of b and this is my plus of c now how you can solve them if you simply add them all so b will be cancelled out c will be cancelled out so 3 is nothing but my so what is that a is my 3 by 2 if you substitute here the b will be my minus 1 by 2 if you b is my minus 1 by 2 so if you add find the value of c it will be my 3 by 2 now what is that so your target is to find this value so you can substitute the value here what is the f of this is this value is my 0 this value is my 0 this value is my 2 so you can a this uh, you can multiply them 0 0 2 so right answer is my 3 is the right answer that's a simple man look at the next question is there so which is related to this line integral so remember always whenever there is a line integral you have to apply the green's theorem that's the one of the simplest way you can solve what is the green theorem is if you can express the terms as m dx plus n dy you can write in terms of the surface integrals of uh, surface integrals of the curly partial derivative of n with respect to y minus partial derivative of m with respect to x over the surface is there so what you can do is you have to simply find here what is the partial derivative now if you compare them m is a coefficient of the x this is my m this is my n now you can find the partial derivative of n with respect to y partial derivative of sorry partial derivative of n with respect to x and m with respect to y sorry because n is already in the y so you can find the partial derivative with respect to x this is 7 minus partial derivative of with respect to y is my 3 over this surface what is that this is a 4 is constant dx dy so now how you can change them you can simply in order to make them is a calculation easier you can simply convert into the polar coordinates so what is that this is nothing but r dr d theta what is the limits are there so this is a circle so circle radius is my 3 and this is my 0 to 2 pi so what is that this is nothing but my 4 of this 0 to 3 and since this is a constant limits are there so you can integrate them here so what is that it will be cancel out it's a 2 this is my 8 of 2 pi so what is that this is my uh, this is 8 to a 16 that is a 32 pi is the and pi will be cancelled out you can see one pi is outside so the right answer is my 32 is there you can see another question is there which is related to the quadrature formula as i discussed in my previous videos also you can see uh, the previous videos of the gate 18 19 20 21 i already discussed this quadrature formula what is the simple rule is you have to look about the polynomial this is a polynomial of degree one it means your f of x will be either 1 or x these are the basis of the polynomial 1 so you can take 1 by 1 if f of x is my 1 you can substitute here 
what is the integration of this is my 2 f of 0 is nothing but my c1 f of c2 is again my here you can take the next basis is my x if you here this is the x square by 2 so if you take them as a 4 by 2 is again 2 and 0 is my 0 so that's a 0 c1 and it is my 3 uh, 3 of c2 so from here you can find the value of c2 as of 2 by 3 if you substitute here you will get the c1 is my 0 so what is the right answer of the c1 okay this is already computed there is no need to solve them it is already computed that so right answer is my 2 is the right answer otherwise once you get the c1 and c2 are here you can substitute again you will get the same answer look at the another question is there now this is the question related to the classification this is the called as the classification of pde whenever this is the question asked you in the examination you always try to compare your differential partial differential equation firstly with the help of here and try to compute b square minus 4 ac if it is a zero we call as the parabolic if it is a less than zero we call as the elliptical if it is a greater than zero we call as the hyperbolic so what is that that's a very simple so this parameter is my a this is my b this minus of c is my c so the, whatever is there there is no problem about it now you can start with the b square minus 4 ac what will happen this is b square x minus y whole square minus 4 a c is here so what is that this is x minus y whole square plus 4 x y so what you can do is that that's a very simple so also you can see that if you open this bracket x square plus y square minus 2 x y plus here so what is that this is here now you can think about that when x plus y is 0 b square minus 4 ac is 0 so 0 means parabolic so the first option is cancel out this option is 2 because whenever x plus y is 0 it's a parabolic whenever x plus y is 0 it's not with the elliptical x minus y is not be present because you can also see if x minus y is 0 it will be 0 it not always be the less than 0 so the right answer is my here is the right answer so you can see these are the four questions which can be solved in a very simple manner make sure that that is the one of the most important concept that is the line integral so whenever you are talking about the line integral use the green theorem uh, we will see in our next class how you can we will summarize them all those vector algebra questions from the 17 to 21 we will see in our next class till then you can simply share this video with your friends subscribe the channel best of luck students happy learning